a little bit of a sad conclusion to my Tessa Atlas 2.0. Uh, now, as you know, following up with the previous videos, uh, the thing came with terrible hardware. You know, completely inappropriate for putting together the turbine. It came machined so poorly that the rotor could not even be balanced. Uh, you, you couldn't put the the vanes equal distance from one another like you would with a regular turbine, a uh, regular turbine, a horizontal turbine, or a you know, uh, vertical turbine. You should be able to balance the blades on all of them. Uh, that thing just it wouldn't have it, and then you know bad hardware let it all shake apart. <coughs> on top of that, the uh, operating voltage that the thing came with was so far. Uh, out, of, out of spec for what uh, Tessa said it was supposed to be. The operating or charging RPM was way, way lower. And essentially, the thing with those blades, the size they are, the second it hits charging voltage, which is only you know 30 or 40 RPM, it stalls. There's a possibility that it would work better. I mean, like the most I saw out of it was, you know, 30 or 40 watts because it just can't do the RPM that it needs. Uh, there's possibility with a bigger, lower profile rotor that would turn a higher RPM and actually, you know, carry some power out of the wind. It would work better, but the way they sent it, it won't work. Uh, on top of that, the generator that's in it is completely unlike the generators that are in other turbines that I, I've seen. Uh, the other people who have bought these Atlas turbines, I expected to see one of their one of those generators. This is some generic, cheap Chinese uh, permanent magnet motor, which I, I can't even say whether or not it worked work well because. Uh, the, the, the voltage that it kicks out is just unsuitable for anything that I, I do. Uh, I did put all my concerns, those plus some others, to, to Tessa, and they didn't respond. They didn't send me any information. They didn't say, hey, let's work on this. It's been a month, and I've got the only response that I got from them was that they were willing to file a claim with DHL to refund my $20 in shipping, which just wasn't suitable. So I now handed it over to my credit card carrier. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to keep it. I'm completely okay with Tessup sending me a box and a label. I can pack it back up at least as well as they did and send it back to them. Uh, oh yeah. I wanted to do more with this thing, but it just was completely, not only was it not like what Tessup says it is, it was unlike what uh, what other buyers ha have said they've gotten. I, I expected hurdles and problems and things that I'd have to overcome and I didn't even get that. Which sucks, but it is what it is we get to move on to another project. We're gonna put something else up on this pole very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.